Hello my Vanityl friends, I'm Agent Kate Sith, and today I'd like to share with you my 5 box melee multi-step skill chain method for Zerd, the Rysenjima Aeonic Helm Notorious Monster. After a long time of procrastination, I finally decided to give this fight a shot live on Twitch. My initial idea was I would just open light skill chains for a black mage who would swap off a of bard after doing songs, and the geo to nuke in order to deal damage. But after my first attempt, I realized my melee damage was pretty good and my skill chain damage was even better. So for my second attempt and win, I decided to do only multi-step and it worked great. This video is now my third successful attempt, so I'd, like, I'd say outside of some bad luck, I could reliably kill Zerd with this method. To start things off, uh, I used Miso Ramen on the Samurai. I figured my accuracy would be fine uh, with just a, a soul voice, honor march, and a madrigal. I also used Miso Ramen on the white mage, and then I used the new ac 95 magic accuracy food on the geo for stun. For rolls, I did samurai roll and allies roll. Uh, for for my trust, I used uh, Yagnus because I you know might as well. He actually had some clutch cures in the fight. But I don't think he's necessary. In hindsight, I should have moved everyone close to the NM because I made the fight super difficult on myself by having everyone standing away. So I had to I had to split my Kyrgas for the, the people standing away because of the fire aura. And then I'd have to single cure Ejin, who was standing at the wall because of the knockback. Uh, this NM, I think every basically every move this NM does um, does knockback. So if you don't have the add-on anchor, you should really plan on um, having your your melee stand up with their back against the wall, like I did here. Uh, like I said for songs, I did um, honor march, soul voice, honor march, minuet five, bl uh, blade madrigal. And then I did two carols, um, fire, because I don't want to get amnesia'd. I think I, during the fight I did get temporarily amnesia'd uh, for like five seconds, but that was the only time during the entire fight. That's also why I used Misa Ramen for extra magic evasion. Um, I don't think I did it in this fight, but I could have also took it one step further and used my magic evasion hybrid, but I didn't feel it was necessary. Um, the Geo does bolster Indie Focus once the fight starts, and um, bolster Geo Frailty and Entrust Attunement. Oh right, and then the second Carol is um, Lightning Carol to prevent me from getting stunned. Uh, it has a it has a, a stun TP move with uh, with knockback and gravity, and uh, it's just. Basically, all of its all of its TP moves are very very annoying. But the two most annoying status effects it has are are stun and amnesia. Uh, I went out of my way here to make sure I had eleven crooked card rolls uh, for samurai and allies uh, using super revitalizer, which helps a ton. The white mage did barfira again to block uh, amnesia. Very important in this fight. Like, if you spend the entire fight amnesia, you will probably not be successful. So I decided to pop it here because, like I said, um, if you're not using Anchor, it uses knockback a ton. And in hindsight, I should have brought all my characters close, so I could have just cure good everyone. You'll see later on in the fight that it becomes like I did not use any sort of program to heal. This is all me healing manually during this fight, plus the help of Yagnus. And due to that, I kind of flustered um, doing skill chains. I, I definitely could have done a lot better. This definitely could have been. This was not the smoothest uh, attempt I've done, but it, it still worked out. I use SP2 um, really early to supercharge my, my weapon skills. Right here, I actually miss... I use the wrong weapon skill. I think I use Fudo again. Right here, I get amnesia. But you can see already, it's getting chunked. 
The bio ore is still a problem. I, I'm not positive. I feel like in one of my fights, I did proc white with a skill chain. But this fight, I do, I clearly do not, I, I feel like. The bio ore is in effect the entire duration, so I'm pretty busy on the white mage doing heals. At the same time, I'm tabbing back to the to the samurai to finish off the skill chains, but it, it goes down really quickly once you get rolling. I do use the add-on called React to stun on the Geo though, because of latency problems. I don't think I could do it without that add-on. And there you go. It, it basically melts. It doesn't have much HP because it's only 5 man also. But I'm pretty sure you could do it with more. You could add a black mage. You could add a lot of stuff to make it go faster. That does it for the video today. If you have any questions or opinions, feel free to comment below or come yell at me live on Twitch. I stream quite frequently now and I'm always willing to talk about the game or anything else. Also, before I go, I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed on YouTube so far. I just recently got accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, and I have all of you to thank for it. You guys are amazing, and I hope to keep bringing you Final Fantasy XI content in the years to come.